Welcome to the Gorilla's Tribe of Amazon Sellers. Welcome to our five-part training series about how to best communicate with your Chinese suppliers. In this series, we will cover what platform to use, what to negotiate, how to build a relationship, how to select a new supplier, and we wrap up with a pro checklist for selecting a supplier. In this fourth episode, Paul and Rob will be covering how to use a decision matrix to select a new supplier. Let's get started now. So top advice when buying from China and sending directly to FBA, which I would say the majority of us do. Start small with your first order. We're looking at an MOQ of 200 to 500 if you can. In most cases, that is manageable, that is doable, that is negotiable, okay? Check your quality during production, depending on what the product is, obviously. Um, at least for the first order, this will allow you to catch problems early and give feedback to the supplier. Okay, use a third party inspection for this. There's no point in us running over to China um, for our first product order of 200 items. Later on, if we get bigger on that, there's no problems. We can get out to <clears throat> meet our suppliers and do all of that good stuff. But initially, let's use a third party inspection company. Now, that that is an option. Okay, but this next one is something that that we highly recommend always check quality before products are shipped since the goods are delivered directly to amazon's warehouse you are taking a huge risk if no one just checks your goods again use a third party for this we've been through this before you can get them uh a third party inspection company to go out and check your goods for a hundred dollars upwards okay the company i deal with and, and work for consultancy wise that's 300 a day there are other others out there 100 105 dollars a day they do a great job get your products inspected before they leave the factory <clears throat> make good use of business to business directories such as globalsources.com alibaba.com we've, we've been through uh, a lot of those in the past on how to actually find products and because they have an advanced search function, this allows you to help screen candidates. In other words, you can actually filter out certain types or certain sizes of suppliers. When setting up the advanced search parameters, make sure that you're looking for level two factories, not too small, not too large. Right, so what do we mean by level two factories? Now, here's a quick diagram, and again, you can you can got these uh, slides. You can check it out afterwards. Level two. Let me zoom in just so we can see what I'm doing here. Is a company or organization that is semi-organized in their manufacturing processes. Costs are relatively low, and quality quality is relatively unstable. This is why we need to make sure that we are getting products inspected the higher up you go the higher the cost in other words level four continuous improving manufacturers this is almost like the automotive or cell phone manufacturers okay so a level two factory would be workers around 200 to 800 people slightly disorganized uh, workshop but getting the job done oops let me go back sorry let me go forwards even um once they get to a certain size you know they will have to obviously um get a few professionals in uh on the likes of a qc manager okay because they know that they are able to look after the quality as it's coming through but still low concern for quality amongst staff and managers in most cases in this size of organization inevitably you will have an English speaking salesperson if if you're dealing directly with them. And most of the times the, the companies or the suppliers that we're working with, they will have at least one or two English speaking people uh, that you can talk to. These will normally be salespeople as opposed to technical people. OK, but uh, as long as we can get what across we need, or what we need across to them, it should be OK. <clears throat> 
may still get orders mostly from trading companies. Now, this is why we say that a trading company is perfectly okay to work with because they are able to negotiate and work with these smaller factories and manage them as opposed to getting them into um, some of the other size factories. So as a result of a level two factory, we're looking at uh, lower costs, um, but slightly lower quality and timing, you know, you've got to work on it. So in other words, this is not a walk in a park. Okay. And this is what this lesson or this, this, this call is all about. It's being able to work with this type of company, but managing your risk and uh, limiting your, your risk factor. Okay. So let's, uh, let's move on. So what about inspection? We talked about inspection, but when should you get it done? Now, the most popular one is the final random inspection. This is often called the pre-shipment inspection and is by far the most common type of quality control check. This should take place when you've got 100% of your shipment quantity finished and at least 80% of that should be packed. In other words, ready to rock and roll straight out the door. This is so the inspection company can go in and take a real random inspection of all of the products. This is not exactly the case if the quality is checked earlier because not all of your products will be finished. In other words, the supplier, if you've got 100% finished, can't play games with you. In other words, they will hide the poor quality products from the inspector if they know they've got any. Okay, and this does happen. This does happen. This is why you need to get 100% finished, 80% packed, and that is the right timing. So it also puts pressure on the supplier, and it gives power to you and us as buyers. Its objective is really to confirm a shipment's quality rather than catching issues early. It can't do that because 100% of it is finished already. But the key thing is the products are still at the factory in China, and if there are any issues found, that can be rectified before it's sent out. Also, down here in red, never pay the final balance of your products before the final random inspection is signed off. That it gives you a position of power. 